In this video, I will show you how to sync drill down from one visual with drill down on another visual. Are you interested? Stay with me. Hello guys, my name is Michał Bicki from Data Maniacs. Recently, I have submitted my work for a competition made by BI Elite, where I used a, one of the tricks. So I used the trick that Parker showed on one of his videos, link should be here or maybe here, I'm never sure which side is it. So I used that for a bit different options. If we got the map on the right side, I wanted to make it work the way that if someone clicks on a country, on another visual, which is on the left side, they would see the cities of the selected country. Or if they select multiple countries, instead of seeing the continents, they would see those countries. All right, so if you want to check out this report, it's really cool. See the link in the description. But now I will show you something a bit different. So it's not that uncommon that you would have two visuals. One of them would have a drill down and you would like to this drill down to affect the values which are presented on another visual. Like here, we got two visuals and what I want to do is basically if I use drill down on the top map, and select Europe then I would like to see those cities in the visual below but it's not happening and actually Microsoft make it a bit difficult because there is no such an option to sync drill down so so how can we address that I will show you how I did it in my report so this is another page of the same report and here I added this functionality so let's check it out I use this map, press drill down, select a continent and in the graph below, instead of seeing just Europe as we would normally have in Power BI, now we got the list of the countries that we see on the top. So that allows us to get more information into our visuals and sync them with whatever is selected on the main visual. And if I press, for example, Poland, we would see the cities in Poland. So everything that is up here, we see in the graph below. So how to achieve that? That was a bit tricky. So before you check this out, please check BI Elite video, which should be linked here or here, um, where uh, he explains how to dynamically change legends. So basically my trick is a upgrade of his trick. So how I did that. So in my model, I got three tables that corresponds to three different levels of the geography hierarchy. I got table continent. I got other table countries. And my third table are cities. And as you can see, some in some of those, um, those tables, I made a fake column ctk temp for cities in the countries it would be called otherwise so i wanted to be sure that i got some key that would be unique for this table so previously city key so the uh, row id for for this table was for example 151 but as well we had such a number for country id we i wanted to make them absolutely separate so modifying those three tables and if you don't have those three tables make sure you have those all right so once we got that i created a new table that i called geo and basically what we have here is kind of like unpivoting all the previous tables so the first one is the key information so it's id of a row then we got the name, so this can be name of the city, name of the country or continent. But what determines the, uh, the type of this value is in this third column called field. So in the field column we got cities, continent and countries. And this table was created with this simple DAX. So we, got, we take the distinct values from the continents. I use continent key as the key for continents. For the remaining tables, I use the fake IDs, so I'm sure that there are no duplicates in the first column here. You can as well, instead of adding the value, you can concatenate the table name. That seems to be safe approach uh, for this design. All right, guys, so let's check out the model. 
And here we got the main table, the fact table in the middle called metrics. There are those three dimensional tables called cities, countries and continents that they create kind of a hierarchy and the cities is filtering metrics. However, I've added our geo table, which is here. Maybe I zoom in a bit. So between geo and the remaining tables, so cities, countries and continents, they are created relationships which are one too many, but they are inactive. Let's check it out. So if I just take a look at geo and continents, we can see that geo key is linked with continent key. However, this relation is not active. So if you create a measure, this relationship wouldn't be used straight away. You need to play some tricks. All right, so let me show you one of the remaining ones. So for the cities and countries, it's a bit different because here I use our fake ID column so that I avoid the case where there would be cardinality many to many instead of many to one. All right, so let's check out the measure. So I got two measures. One is users, which is actually just a sum of the column called users. And I got users geo that uses the hierarchy. And you can see that we got switch and there are brackets so if any of those is true then the corresponding clause would be executed all right guys so there is uh, let me show you the condition so if we have just one value for the countries then we are returning users but let's check it out so here is the line where we activate this unactive relationship so we said that all right for this calculation use geo key linked with cities city key temp as the main relationship we repeat it for the remaining clauses i will leave dax code in the blog post that will be linked under the description so those are our three clauses so i say that if we got the single country selected then it uses the relationship for the cities if we got the only if we got the single value for the continents selected additionally i added as well the case if someone selects less than 20 countries then we show the distribution among countries and lastly if none of the above is true then we basically use the relationship with the continents once we've got that it's enough to create a visual where I use the column from our geo, so this new table as the axis, and then I use our measure. So just to show you, if instead I use my plain measure, I would replace those users geo with regular users, it wouldn't get any results because there is no active relationship. However, if I switch it back to geo, so my measure with those relationships, everything works fine. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this trick, please press thumbs up button. And if you are interested in more tips and tricks in Power BI, Excel or other BI tools, please subscribe this channel. Thank you and see you in the next video.